So it's really important that you can as well call them out on 0722-111-816. I don't know why I keep saying call them out, not call them out, but simply call them and see what they have in store for you. They have made our stay here incredible as much as the voice Safari Lodge has done. So Karibu Sana, once again, it's good to have you. My name is Linda Alela and this is Morning Cafe. As always, we do it you know, in style and we always make sure that we are out there to make sure that you get the best of the morning experience. So keep it right here all the way to 10 a.m. We'll be talking to a game ranger. We'll be talking to an environmentalist. We'll also be having the gym session. Remember, it's Fitness Thursday. And so as we look at what is here, what a boy, uh, Savo National Park or East, uh, Savo East Park is endowed with is also really, really important that we get to the gym. So make sure that you keep it right here. So much in store for you. And with me this morning, we are honored to have Honorable Kasim Sauer Tendaza, Member of Parliament of Matuga, and equally, you know, a leader in the coast region, and therefore it's important that we get to engage him. This, as we look at, you know, the coastal region and what they're doing as leaders to make sure that the aspect of tourism is well embraced, and above all, just what they're doing to make sure that they align themselves proper as we are headed to the general election. Mishimu, it's good to have you. Thank you, Linda. Thank uh -huh. you, our esteemed viewers. It's always a pleasure to be on uh, TV 47, you know. Uh -huh. yeah. Indeed, you have been loyal to us as well. Yeah. And thank you for traveling all the way with us. I know this well, is home. Yeah, this is part of, of course, this is my area. Uh -huh. uh, of course, I have so many friends around here. I like Tsavo, both uh, Tsavo East and Tsavo West. Uh, the amazing facilities. Of course, it's dry That's now. Just a second. What happened? Well, call me the roving journalist and we're here just about to hit the Savo East National Park. A great experience. I am told never been here, but I'm looking forward to just get to see what is in store for us. And this is for you. So join me in this great safari. This is Morning Cafe and courtesy of TV47, courtesy of Voice Safari Lodge. We are here to have the fun and the driver of the day, Jumbo. Jumbo. I'm going to Abo, like him, I'm Steve. Steve. Yeah, good Santa to Santa. have you. Asante sana. Kwa hiyo, takuna tupeleka around. Wasalimia watu wa TV47. Tamina, wasalimia. Karibuni sana TV47. Karibuni sana. Mzanao hapa. Karibuni sana. Savo East, the theater of the world. Najua mtaji enjoy. Nah, I'm looking forward to that. So, we will go on the Tsavo East National Park. Oh? Yes, uh -huh. and uh, Sherembe Safaris All and right. Travel. Sherembe Safaris and Travel. Yes. You know, very important kwa game drives and all that. So, unatupangia nini leo? Leo, unapangia kutembea na nyunyi ndani ya Tsavo East. Unafanya game drive ya subuhi nzuri. At least na nyimu jifuraie kuona Kenya. It had to chukua like how long to tembea all the parts? Uh, kutembea in, inategemea mkiwa asubui uwa ni, kuna part mbili asubui na jioni. Right. So masa mawili manne asubui, mm -hmm. uh, masa matatu na, ama masa manne asubui utakuwa meenjoy. Ah. Kwa hiyo how do you get to know the places to take us in terms of new animals utakuwa wapi? Uh, kulingana na uzoefu wangu hapa in the Savo East, Mitembea Sana. So we normally know the places to take people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now people have, have got different interests. Okay. Kunoingino Najua, they just want to see the world. All right. the, the people who just want to see the nature. Sasa mm inategemea -hmm. wale utakata utaka ukutana nao. Wakitaka muende kuona mazingara, mtatembea, pak karibu yote. Kuna wale wanataka kuona tu ndovu, simba, sasa unawapeleka mali simba watapatikana. Utajuaje simba kwa sehemu fulani wewe? Ah tunawajua kwa tunajua kwa sababu wenzetu wakiwa ndani huwa wanatueleza. Oh mna communicate. Eh, tuna communicate through right. radios na inakuwa rahisi. Mm -hmm. Kwa wale ambao hawana radio inakuwa gangumu sana kwa sababu utabidi uzunguke sana, uanze kutafuta nani yuko ndani. Mm -hmm nitampigia simu humpati ni talk sangine tatizo kwa ngumu lakini saka tulingana na kazi yetu vile tushaizoea na tuko na vyombo vyote vya mawasiliano hizo mm -hmm. radio basi inakuwa raisi mm -hmm. eh, na tunafurahisha wageni wetu ambao wanakuja kama vile nyinyi mmefika mm -hmm. basi mtaji enjoy langu jicho haya sawa biashara vipi 
Biashara kwa sasa si nzuri vile lakini inajaribu jaribu. Tangu unajua hali ya dunia vile ilitokea ilikuwa hali ya mshike mshike. Kila mmoja anajikinga hapa na pale kwa hivyo sasa ikakuwa basi watu wengi hawaji safari. Lakini tunashukuru watu sasa wameanza kutembea maana huku ndani ya mbuga hakuna hakuna kutangamana na watu. Ukija ni wewe na kwa gari yako tutakubeba haya. Uone wanyama. Wanyama wenyewe pia wameka social distance hata wa karibi karibu kwa hivyo wanyama wana anasema ilitoka kwa wanyama kwa hiyo sisi hatujui labda kwa siku moja wewe unaweza ukatembea huko ndani au kaingia kule ndani mara ngapi labda unapeleka siku ngapi watu watu wawili ama siku mbili kwa siku unaweza na mara mbili asubuhi na jioni alafu inategemea wale watu umbeba gari za capacity ya gari za tour ni watu nane ama watu tisa mm -hmm. zenyewe zina ziko na social i mean social distance tayari mm -hmm. so unaweza enda asubuhi ama jioni eh, kwa hivyo squad ni mbili tu unaweza piga kwa ah. siku ah. Ah, nashukuru nafikiri tusizungumze sana tuingie mm -hmm. tujione asante sawa karibuni ah. tuje enjoy shukrani sawa Ay, karibu sawa. asante haya <laughs> tutakana kwa haya kweli ni basi sawa nishakuwa mwenyeji sio kama ambavyo mimi ndio nakuendesha sawa jambo bwana habari gani nzuri sana wageni mwakaribishwa Kenya yetu hakuna matata Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm good. Good. How about you say hi to people? Yeah, Where are they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to Savo East National Park. Thank you. Thank uh, you so much. The theater of the world. Is it? Yes. Right. Uh, Savo East National Park is by far the largest protected area in this country. Okay. We host uh, quite a uh, number of major attractions. Mm -hmm. In fact, it is only in Savo East mm -hmm. where you'll be able to see biggest hands of uh, elephants. The big fire? Oh, no, elephants. the elephants. Right. The, the red dust elephants. It's only mm -hmm. in Savo East mm -hmm. where we have very huge population of elephants. Mm -hmm. uh, also in Savo East, you'll be, you get an opportunity when you do a game drive to see all the big fives. We are blessed to have quite a number of species, mm -hmm. including both uh, one, uh, mammals and even the bird species. Mm -hmm. So when, when you come here, you're going to have a good feeling when you do a game drive. Mm -hmm. you, within a short distance, you'll be able to see lions, you'll be able to see rhinos. Guarantee uh, me of safety. You are going to see everything that you really want to see and in I a national safe. park. And you are very safe. You are very safe. It is also in this park where we have the best accommodation facilities. We have Foy Safari Lodge, which is very close to our park headquarters where here. I'll be and I'm very sure that is where you're going to I'll have be a sleeping good time. Here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So welcome to Savo East mm -hmm. National Park. Apart from one life, we also have other major attractions, which include Amunada Rock, which is a 1.6 kilometer Irsalberg. Mm -hmm. It's a rock. And when you are there on top of that rock, there's a very nice breeze, and you can be able to see wildlife taking water, you know. And it's it's just excellent watching wildlife behavior from the rock. Now you'd better not tell me everything <laughs> because I am here to say. Okay, Karim I'm here to say on behalf of my viewer. Okay. Just so we don't speak of Tembea, Kenya, we have constantly said that there's so much in the country that we need to see. When did you get to see an, uh, 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 a lion after Kwisoma Kovitabu? Yeah. Um, At what age? Um, I, I, I was almost 10 years. Oh, you were so lucky. Do you know how many of us, oh, well, people grow up until 30, 40, you've never seen a lion. You only see a lion in books. Uh, Yet you stay in Kenya where we're endowed with all this. 
it is a mistake. We keep saying, Tembea Kenya, we constantly say it is important to travel to the different parts. Imagine the rest of the world takes their time to come all the way, all the way to the country. Sure. I'm told that sometimes when a changanga karibu mwakamzima, you know, like you changa, 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 just so you want to go to Kenya. Yeah. Yet you are in Kenya and you've not taken advantage of that. And just like the warden says, I know you need to know his name. He's not mm. said his name. My mm. name is Linda Alela as always. <laughs> Yours truly, I promise to rove across the world just so you would get to see the view of the beauty of the world and most importantly, the beauty of Kenya. So yes, I'm mm -hmm. Linda Alela. I'm mm Linda -hmm. um, Wilson Jue, um, the warden in charge of Savo East National Park. And as you've said, we need to cultivate a culture of us loving what we have. Mm -hmm. we, we don't have to wait for people to come from outside the country. Yes, we welcome them, mm -hmm. but we also need to have that culture that we need to know what we have as a country. Remember last year we had a very bad pandemic and if it is not for us, mm -hmm. we could not have really made it. So it is good to cultivate that culture. Are we catching up well in terms of, you know, after uh, we are doing well, we are doing well. Uh, we are seeing the numbers are slowly and gradually coming up mm -hmm. and we hope by next year, next year, but one, we are going to get to the levels that we, we know the park has the potential mm -hmm. and and uh, very soon we're going to go back to that level that we really wanted. Mm -hmm. Yes. Savo East National Park. And I'll be sleeping at the Voi Safari Lodge. So join me in this beautiful tour. As we all say, Kenya is beautiful. We need to travel, you know, across the different parts of the country. And so what else are we waiting for? I think we join in and get to the drive. Karibu sana, Savo East. Asante. Karibu. Well, join us. <laughs> Oh, I sit here. I sit here. Yes. Okay. Go. So we are right inside the National Park. Uh, the wires that we've seen there as we got in are for security purposes because our staff uh, stay right inside the park and the camp is protected by that uh, game proof fence. Yeah. The wires, we, they are called danglers. They uh, protect our people from the elephants, so okay. the elephants cannot get into the camp, but they can allow uh, small mammals to go inside the camp and also next to our offices. They are live wires? Yes, they are live wires. Are they wires. not risky for the elephants? Oh, look at that. No. Oh, yeah. No. That's a water bag. With it's a called baby. a water bag. That's a water bag. And, and, uh, and the baby. And the baby. Oh, okay. It's very beautiful. Yeah. Just look at that. Yeah. Elephants are used to, they, they fear wires and they fear electricity. Okay. So, so uh, we have power, but uh, they're not harmful to them. We just protect our people from the elephants okay. getting to the camp. But other animals, other animals, The big flies? Yeah, the the elephants? ones? Yeah. Also, they are not allowed to. No, uh, they follow, uh -huh. they follow the just like elephants, they can get past the wire. Yeah. But lions, uh, antelopes, gazelles, you see them in the car, just pass through the wire. Are you kidding me? Yeah. What is the difference? A lion is not as big as an elephant? Some, some, some lions are quite. If you are to consider a lion a small mammal. <laughs> it's not like, like that. It's, right? it's not uh -huh. like that. But usually go through, it's not like the, the darkness are not too late for the lion. They just need for, for the, the elephants. elephants. Okay. How long would it take us for us to move through, like all around the park? Wow, Southeast National Park is the biggest protected area in Kenya. In what is fact, this aspect of prote protection that you really insist on? Yeah, you know, a national park is uh, protected. We, we don't allow human activities in a national park. Mm -hmm. It's purely for conservation 
and habitat management. So, so when you come into the national park, you will not see human activities like uh, you guys had uh, livestock mm -hmm. or people doing charcoal burning or any kind of farming. No, right. this is purely for conservation and tourism purposes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this part looks a bit green. This other side, though, where it's not yeah. as green. What, yeah. what, what we, is the difference? These are riverine. We have Voi River that passes through here, okay. so that's why we have some. Uh, Catchment. Like it's a proper river, like yeah, a good, good river. It is seasonal, it's quite huge, okay. uh, but because of the drought situation that we've had this year, with the river uh, not with uh, not had water. so much uh -huh. water, okay. so, so it's, right now it's a little bit dry. Okay. But in by mid next month, we should be having a lot of water flowing all the uh -huh. way to Aruba Dam. Uh -huh. Yeah, so as I said, oh, yeah. uh, this is beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> How safe would it be for me to just walk around this place? You cannot walk. It is dangerous. We have, we have one life but here. But you said you have but, staff here. <laughs> no, but they are, they are there at the camp. Uh -huh. You can only do a game drive in a vehicle. Uh -huh. But you cannot walk those, of course, of lions and elephants. Okay. So yeah. which one is it? Gazelle, Impala? Yeah, which these is are which? Impalas. Huh? These are Impalas? Yeah. What about this one? They're the same, huh? But, but why? The why is this all? The, the males are the ones with the, yeah, with the horns. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, the things that we only see in books, man, my people, you need to, you really need to travel the country, there's so much So you are, you are saying about having a game drive to cover the park, how long you take? Yes. As I said, the park is quite huge. Yeah. In fact, it covers 13,747 square kilometers. That is a huge area. Okay. So you require like a whole week to do a nice game drive in all the parts of this park. All right. Remember, we are centrally in uh, Voi County, in Taitataveta County, yeah. but uh, we also, uh, in other counties, like uh, we borders Kilifi, mm -hmm. we borders Kuale County, mm -hmm. we borders Tana River County, mm -hmm. and in the northern sector, we also border at, um, Taita, uh, Kitui County. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I'm imagining, I want to see the animals. Like Vizuri, what time do I come? Uh, the park is open from uh, 6 a.m. in the morning and okay. we also close at 6 p.m. in the evening. And the best time for game drive is early in the morning. And Very also, early, like early yeah, now? Early like early. 6 to almost 10 a.m. in the morning. Okay. You'll be able to see a lot of wildlife. Right. And also, you can also come for the game drive at around from 3 p.m. in the evening mm. when the sun is cooling yeah, down, uh -huh. it's coming down, and uh, up to around 6, 6.30 in the evening, you'll be able to see a lot of wildlife. Again, we have uh, main tourism circuits. Uh, when you come to the park, because of its fastness mm. and also because of availability of water and such, okay. there are routes that when you go through, you'll be able to see a lot of wildlife. So we, we advise our, our clients when they come, mm -hmm. We just give them, we give them directions on which circuits that uh, they will be able to see a lot of wildlife and which to avoid depending on the time of the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And so always you will find animals here, or there's that season where they they, 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 they might wait to other regions because I hear there's a lot of migration. Uh, Savo East is blessed. We usually have one life throughout the year, wow. but for elephants, sometimes they are a little bit seasonal. Though we have a huge population of elephants, they usually move. When it is dry, mm. they go to the to the dispersal areas. Okay. We have the ranches which surround the park, and um, like in the month of November, December, you not see a lot of uh, elephants in the park. Yeah. They get out of the park, but they also start coming in uh, early January to months March. Mm -hmm you see a lot of wildlife, uh, especially elephants in the, in the park. Okay. Yes, but, but, but basically throughout the year you not miss wildlife in the park. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Most of these vehicles are fitted with uh, some communication devices yes. where they can talk to all the drivers in the park. Uh -huh. So if a driver is able to locate like lions okay. or even a leopard, uh, they will be able to tell other drivers to come to a certain location. Oh, so that's uh, how you get to know where to go to get an... Yes, uh -huh. yes, okay. yes, yes. All right, because there are times you'd go to a place and maybe you don't find the animals. Yeah, I do and sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. A game drive is not successful if you've not seen a lion. That's true. You yeah, know, I'm, eagerly yeah, I, I'm so, eagerly waiting. I am eagerly waiting. So when, when a driver is like, oh, we have lions here, and just drive quickly and they see the lions. The clients are happy uh -huh. and we are happy because, okay. you know, we like satisfying our clients. Mm -hmm. We want our clients, when they come to Savo East, 
they feel satisfied. Right. That the products that we are offering are products that meet mm -hmm. their expectations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what? Uh, how, how then do you connect? Uh, I'd love to know now. Savo East itself and and, and the lodges say uh, the safari lodge. How? What is the connection in terms of making sure that this is? Is, is, is there something I'm seeing there? That, that yeah, those are buffaloes. Oh, buffaloes. Yeah. I almost thought there are cows in here. Oh, the <laughs> buffaloes are there. I wish we'd um, get that. There's just so many buffaloes. Ah, man. And there's no way we can go there. <laughs> no. We'll see them somewhere you, else. One of the key park routes is not to off road. We cannot go outside the road. There's oh, road. so there is. So, uh -huh, so, uh -huh, so uh -huh. when you go there, that is breaking the park rules, which is not good, of course. For so if they're quite far. You have to just view yeah, them from just afar. Wait and you enjoy from a distance. I <laughs> yes. they look very nice. Yeah. So these are buffaloes. These are buffaloes. Yeah. All right. So for instance, if we're here, then the driver will allot the another driver. That in case yes. you want to see buffaloes. Yeah. Come to this. Come location. to this direction. And then one thing about them is that they know the park. The park like well at the palm yes. of their so, hands. Yeah. Eh? So they are they are very conversant with all the locations in the park. And they, they probably have their coded names eh? yeah. for for, for the yeah, locations. They, they do. They do even have their coded names. Okay. Yeah. All right. So those are buffaloes. All right. Uh, this is going to be interesting, my people. I keep insisting that we rove the different parts of the world just so we bring you, you know, that feel. And when we're bringing you that feel, we don't just want you to enjoy it from TV. It's really important that you take your time, you know. Some of these experiences are not very expensive. They are lifetime experiences. You can imagine if you have to treat your little boy, little girl, to this at this early stage really important the things that they learn you know from school are they, they get to see them in real life situation and this is very therapeutic i can tell you for free it just comes with a, a very nice feeling to walk around to move around it might not make sense but trust you me when you try it you will not regret i keep insisting it's in Bear, kenya we're here at the savo east national park courtesy of the voice safari lodge and we're so delighted to make sure that we take you through this beautiful experience and so we're just taking that simple game drive uh with enjoy right here who's taking us through this moment just to explain to us what we are well endowed with what the Savo national east park is all about and i can guarantee you that so far it's been a nice experience uh-huh yeah and the way you're saying about affordability yes. coming to the park for a kenyan citizen is not expensive it's only 500 kenya money Ah, yes, 500 shillings. Yeah, huh? you come away where you pay 500 Kenya shillings to come and you enjoy the one. Oh, that yeah. is just that one day, and then you're taken round. Yeah, the the five, yes, 500 just, Bob. Only 500. I pay, you pay at the gate. I honestly, get, yes. And then, for if you have a kid between three years and 18 years, you pay only 200 Kenya money. So, huh? yes, for the baby. Yeah, ah, I mean, that's affordable, honestly. <laughs> that's for a really child affordable. So, it's very cheap. Mm -hmm. uh, to come into the park and uh, oh. now what is this? These are this water is bugs. Water That's bugs again, yeah? Yeah. Uh, okay. Today we have quite a big population of these species, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're very cute. They are really cute. So squarely, what do they feed? So they oh, eat the grass. I. Yes. Even the li now the lions, <laughs> the lions they the lions kill the animals, so they they will, so they will kill the water. Guys, but huh? I will, yeah. yeah they are. <laughs> oh, man. So every time lucky. we might even be lucky uh -huh. to see uh, lions hunting. Oh, I hope we will yeah, see that. So, uh, it's such I'm a bad thing you, to see, though. Yes, when it, you it go to your the park and you you have a nice game drive, you might be lucky to see lions, you no know, chasing a buffalo. Or even chasing a big uh, elad or even some uh, gazelles. So, okay. anything, so, so, so you can be possible. rest assured that at least in a day there's one <laughs> animal that is going down because the lion has to get something to eat. It's a balanced nature. It's so, a balanced nature, yeah. I agree. All right, so we're back to the prizes. Yo, only 500 book for a, you yes. know, only 500. Only 500. 500. So that means you can travel from Nairobi. No, yes, yeah, it's pretty much of like a cool 10,000 would allow you a very nice moment uh, of getting to see this, yes. a nice experience, and that's it. Yeah, so, in a day, one can travel, uh, can go throughout the park like a game drive, and you've seen everything that you yeah, want to see. Everything. As I said, we have all the big fives. Mm -hmm. And apart from the big fives, we also mm -hmm. have quite uh, a big population of one uh, bird species. So. So, so you'll be able to see everything in the park. All right. Yes.
Roja, Roja. So, you see, then that is, that's a lie. So, most probably, the, the, the other members of that pride should be around. You okay. cannot be able to see them. They also work in yeah, like groups? They work in a group. And I think uh, this group of lands has been resident in Kanderi. Uh, yeah, what is that? Kanderi is this area that we are in. Uh, this is an area that has so many antelopes and uh, herbivores because we have provided uh, uh, water for one life. Okay. Now that it is this dry, so you see a lot of antelopes. So these guys are waiting for a kill. They want to hunt. So most probably oh. they want to hunt. Oh no. Yeah. So, so the antelopes would see them and disappear. Yeah, they will. Of course, can you see any antelope around? So no. most probably they know the guys are around oh, and yeah. they are avoiding them. <laughs> Why do we have to speak in lotus when we see the lion? <laughs> it is good to avoid noise in the park. Sometimes wildlife does not like noise. Okay. Um, they, they just like the caprice mm -hmm. um, of nature. So, see the way this guy is relaxed yeah. and she's just looking at us. Uh, it's just beautiful. It is uh, beautiful. In Savo East, we have a very huge population of uh, lions. They just concluded census. Oh. We counted quite a number oh, of lions. You do census? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah I remember. We've just done the, 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 national, the, the national census. Yes, I remember. Census. Yes. And uh, we've counted quite a number of lions in Savo East National Park. Okay. So it is not a surprise. Anytime you do a game drive, uh -huh. you'll be able to see the lions. We've, only, we've just seen the cheetahs. I'm very sure you're going to see a leopard somewhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just a successful game uh, how, 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 how do we conduct this wildlife? If I, if I <laughs> would take a llama so I know that this one is already counted or what? What happens? No, there's a method our research uh, scientists use. Okay. Uh, so uh, it's not just the way we do the sensors for human beings. Okay. Uh, so they, they have transits. They, they, there's a way they do count the, uh -huh. the one. Okay. Yes. Oh, this is beautiful. And we're so lucky, guys, that we're seeing Mr. Lyon. It's not an easy thing, but we have to speak in low tone so he doesn't run away or come for us, can he? Uh, no, they will not come for us, but sometimes it's going to give one life uh, mm -hmm. the respect. But let's, uh, let, let's speak the truth. Yes. If one of us were to stand up a genie. That is illegal. Oh, uh, that is, apart from the illegal know, aspect, would they come? Yeah, of course. You, you, you'll be putting us, your life into danger because uh, a lion is a carnivore, okay. so they can feed on you. So it is good to remain in the car with them, mm -hmm. just keep quiet and watch the nature. I'm yeah. telling you, they are so, yeah, he is so relaxed. <laughs> well, this is nice. Uh, what, what are the behaviors when you know now they are ready to hunt? You can observe, you can yeah, tell. Like now, the way we, we are seeing only one, uh -huh. uh, most probably the other guys are around. Uh -huh. You know, lions, they have a very unique hunting behavior. Okay. So they use the mothers to hunt. Some guys uh. go to some other direction to push the, the herbivores, mm. and then others will be hiding on the direction that they want to push them. Okay. So then they'll just pounce on them. Don't pounce on them. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. All right. Well, we are in for more, my people. So yeah. hold it right here. Mm. That's Mr. Lion. I guess we get uh, to Mona. I have not seen the elephant just yet. Ah, you're going to see hundreds of thousands of elephants. In I've seen Savoy. the buffaloes. I've seen. <laughs> now we're talking about the big five. Buffaloes and uh, the lion. Mm -hmm. and so to Bakisha, so which are the big fights? I now don't see yeah. Ibisha. Yeah. The last time I was in school, but at least I have uh -huh. an idea. You know, which are the big fives? So the lion, mm -hmm. the buffalo is, mm -hmm. the elephant is, mm -hmm. and then there's the rhino. 
Yes. Aha, and then there's in Misau in Naju, like in Misau Chui. Leopard. Oh, Chui, Leopard, those yes, families, yes, eh? the cats. Yes, yes, All right, yes, let's, yes. let's get to see some so more. We are, we are only remaining the leopard and the elephant rhino, the, and, and the, the rhino. rhino. Yeah. All right, so here we are. Yeah, let's but go. we are going to see, we might be lucky to see a leopard, but rhino today, we might not be lucky to see a rhino today. Uh -huh. uh, but I'm very sure we might see a leopard. Let's be positive, my people. Yeah. We're going to see a, a, a rhino, so don't worry. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's your typical day like? So, so you so, now so, as the chief uh, warden. <laughs> Wait a minute, it's I, supposed to be a warden or a warden? Park warden. Warden. Park warden. I'm not going to say warden. I'm not going to say warden. People park don't know by the way, people don't yeah, know. <laughs> the, charges, the warden in charge of a park, uh -huh. the Savo East National Park, yes. is a park warden. All right. So my day starts at around 4 a.m. in the morning. Okay. Yeah, where I get uh, briefs, I get information from my commanders. Mm. Uh, the park has rangers all over. Mm. As we say, the park is quite huge. So we have, uh, we have rangers all over. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm getting a call from a, a, a tour driver called Mzalendo. Oh, Mzalendo. Yeah. Uh, you always have to have your phone. I have to have my phone throughout, even at night, even mm -hmm. at 3 a.m. I am always with my phone. All right. So who, Mzalendo is a tour? Uh, Mzalendo is a, a tour driver. Okay. We usually visit the park uh, a lot, mm. uh, especially most of the weekend. Okay. So what usually happen is that... Uh, these tour drivers, when they are in the park, mm -hmm. they give us a lot of information. Ah. Uh, because we are not everywhere. Our rangers are not everywhere. Sure. They are strategically located, but there are some areas that these tour drivers go mm -hmm. that our rangers will not get. Okay. So these drivers give us a lot of information about how the park is at the moment. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they can tell us about a sick animal uh, or even an injured you know wildlife and uh, they can even tell us about some of the conditions of the roads okay you know, so many, so much information so, so so what happens if you if you're told now the lion is sick so when when, when i get such information uh -huh. we'll have to move with speed okay i inform our veterinary doctor we have a veterinarian yet we have a veteran doctor here based at Savo east okay who, we, who has a team and they send the team uh, check on the wildlife. How do they do that? Now this is the lion which is sick and there are a couple of others around. How do they get to this particular one that is sick without being worried? Yeah, they have uh, what is required for you know for them to move around yes, without being they harmed. Yes, we have we have chopper ah. so they can be able to dart the wildlife and you know uh, immobilize it, uh -huh. treat it and then uh substitute it. Oh yeah. Well the times Okay. I'm to Ooh zebras so this is the uh, zebras and what this giraffes. Is the of um, this is beautiful. Yeah, so this is uh, called uh, Canary Song. Okay. At the heart of South East National Park. Uh, this here you can see we provide uh, water because of the drought. Mm -hmm. We have water trucks there, so that's why you can see so many wildlife around. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when it is this dry, you see a lot of wildlife coming in, streaming in, and that is why you've seen the lions. Eh? Like a okay. hundred meters from here. Uh -huh. So these guys are waiting for these guys to take water oh, and then yeah. they're going to have a kill. Aye. So when you come here in the afternoon, you find a very nice view. And I'm trying to oh. get something for the day. That is the, the most heartbreaking thing to, nature, to see. You, to balance. Aye. you never want to see a lion uh -huh. die. And at the same time, you feel for them, but they are quite a number. So here we have giraffes, zebras. Um, those are ostr uh, really ostrich, right? We have ostrich, yeah, you can see. Okay. We have quite a number of ostriches. Uh -huh. there. Um, wow. And if you come here at around two, yes. you'll be able to see very huge uh, numbers of elephants. In okay. Hundreds. Because right now they are grazing, they'll be coming to take water at around midday to 2 to 3 p.m. Nice. Yeah. Okay, this is nice. What is that there? Oh, oh, oh. Those are plants or it's a stone? Can you see? Uh, so, uh, as, as I've told you, we, we are providing water. Oh, so that's where the water so bit is, is eh? We have the borehole ah, and we have okay. solar there. Okay. So they are protected because of wildlife. Mm -hmm. So we use solar power to pump water from that borehole mm -hmm. and then we 
we, we take it to those traps mm -hmm. and then no one left can come and take the water. Mm -hmm. mm. Alright, so when they're giving bath, uh, uh, is it different for every animal? Yeah. When they're having babies, like, like for yeah. It's different. It's, different. it's uh -huh. different, but of course, just like... They have their natural ways of... Yeah, just like a cow. Uh -huh. back at home. Okay. It's almost the same. But uh, one, one unique thing about one life when they are giving birth, uh -huh. they get lost. You not find them. They oh, to get, them it's, it's, it's something to hide. They hide. They okay. go into the areas in the park where you cannot even see them. Nobody okay. will see them. You just see a one life with a small one, with a small baby. It's very difficult to see one life giving birth. Wow. Yeah, they like that. Uh, uh, privacy, kind of. Yeah. What is this one? Can you see here one that has like uh, horns? It's a gazelle. It's a, it's a gazelle, eh? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, wow. This is nice. All right, we proceed. As we also get to know more of uh, now what you do on a typical day. Yeah. <laughs> a typical day for you? Oh yeah, so we were talking about uh, how my day starts. Yes. So at 4 a.m. in the morning, I, I get uh, communication from my commanders mm -hmm. who are all over the park on how the park has slept. Mm -hmm. Like we know the situation, what they require for that day, that they tell me they maybe they want water because you know they stay our region stay inside the park okay. and you need to give them clean water. Maybe they, uh, they don't have food, maybe they don't have fuel for their vehicles to move around. Mm -hmm. So I get briefs in the morning at around 4 and any other information that they think the park manager need to know. Okay. And then at around uh, 4.35, mm -hmm. I compile that information, which is for my consumption. I okay. obtain, but whatever I think needs some uh, attention for my bosses. Mm -hmm. So I'll compile it and send to my boss at around 5 to 5.30 mm -hmm. in the morning. Mm -hmm. Who And then he'll do it, he'll compile his and send it to headquarters. Yeah. And then after that, at around 7, I usually take an aircraft. We have a resident aircraft mm -hmm. where we go for an aerial wreck, mm -hmm. an aerial patrol with our resident pilot. We see how the park is. And then you come back at around 9, you go to the office, you do the administration work in the office. Yeah. Uh, that is typically a how typical day. Um, and then in the afternoon, you pick a vehicle, uh -huh. you can do a game drive just to check on facilities, check on how the wildlife is, check on the roads. Uh -huh. Yeah, basically that's it. Oh, yeah. okay. That's, that's really nice. I see. Uh, the beauty is immense, I'm telling you. The beauty is out of this world. It's a typical day where just taking a game drive. Um, that I always say that I do this so you can also see. We are so huge on the aspect of, you know, just travel and tour the country. It's really, really important. We are at the Savo East National Park. Uh, quite a huge place and with and down is so much of uh, wildlife you need to come out here and see we know that we it's it's that week that we're celebrating wildlife you know across the global fraternity and kenya is pretty much blessed because these animals that you don't find anywhere are right here at the heart of the country and uh, it's really really important that you know you take time you know out of your busy schedule you know spare some coins and go out there and get to see this i'm personally sleeping at the safari lodge that is boy safari lodge um i'm still excited i need to go and get there and see what they have in store for me but to imagine that i'll be speaking sleeping right at the heart of the savo east national park is breathtaking there's a bit of fear some essence of fear but well looking at the people who've been here it's evidently <laughs> no, not it's dangerous you get you said it by saying that it's the safest place it and so safe. i want to believe that i am safe I some, uh, oh. wow Hey, yeah. <laughs> oh. And Dick Dicks, they, are, they have a funny love story. Um, they, are, they are always in couples. Okay, two, two. Yeah, they are always in two. Unless we're catching a part of total dogo. And the way you can see the size, Zinaka Kidogo, but these are adults. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> these are adults. <laughs> yeah. They don't grow big. And uh, about uh, Dick Dicks, uh -huh. if they love each other very much. Okay. If one happened to die naturally or through an accident or injury or something, the other one try even to commit suicide. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> because of the love Why? that they have for each other. So so this 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 animals mm. 
it's, a, it's a perfect example of what human beings should be like. Uh, <laughs> yo, yo, that's real. Like uh, two of them now. Yeah. How do they try committing? So what what yeah. would they do? Well, well, uh, from what we gather, yeah. they they can even just take themselves to to a carnival or something just to be to eaten. be eaten. Yeah, or they oh. just hit themselves. They throw themselves somewhere. Uh, <laughs> yes, that is what we were told. <laughs> Uh, um, but they love each other very much. They love each other very much. They cannot stay without a partner. You know, interestingly, the ones that I've seen here, there are about four. They are four. So that means those are two, two. Two, those are two couples. Wow, that's a beautiful yes. thing. You can imagine. Yes. Yeah. That's really, really nice. And they're so tiny. You know, they're so small. Yeah. This is the maximum they can grow. You yes, see that one. That is the size. That is an adult size. And so the the the, the boyfriend or the girlfriend is just somewhere around there. Yeah, they, girlfriends might be somewhere there and then funny enough with uh, the only challenge that we have with uh, Dick Dick uh -huh. country right uh -huh. now is uh, the they are topping the list of those animals that are being poached for subsistence use wow. uh, because of this drought and you know livelihood issues with yeah. the community living around they are really poaching uh -huh. these Dick Dicks uh -huh. uh, but we are happy that we are doing very well in the uh, when when you take these guys to the courts, right? And um, yeah, the yeah, laws are yeah, tight nowadays. Yeah, they are very tight. Yeah, but it's a big challenge that we are trying to work mm -hmm, on, mm -hmm. uh, especially in the communities, right. because uh, both in the park it's very difficult for them to come inside. Mm -hmm. But for those dig digs that are in the community land, yeah, they are in real danger. Well, I, I've also seen the birds, eh? Um, kanga. Yeah, we have, uh, in Sabo East, we are blessed to have two types of uh, guinea foals. We have the elemented guinea foal, mm -hmm. and we also have the fortune guinea foal. The one that we've seen down there yeah. was the fortune guinea foal, which is basically the, I think the, the numbers are higher than the elemented one here. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah and uh, they're very beautiful. They are. They are very beautiful. I think we Yes. Yeah, and... Uh, I, I know we, they are even they can even be kept at home. They are. Uh, I, I, there's a friend of mine who has a couple of them. Yes, but you have to seek a permit. You need to get a permit from Kenya Wildlife Service uh, licensing office in Edikwater for you to be allowed. Because if you find you with uh, the guinea foals and there's no permit, then uh, oh. that is against the law. You better be careful. Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, that's that's a, that's an interesting one. I'm surprised. Yeah. I am not going to tell you who this friend of mine is I, because <laughs> maybe I, he or I she hope, has a permit. I really hope so. Yeah. I really yeah. hope so. But so. it is very easy. You go to headquarters. You apply through the local warden. Yeah. You apply for the permit. You forward the letters. You do an assessment. And they are given a permit at a very uh, cheap fee. Mm -hmm. So, so that means I can come here and get one or two. No, you, you just need to apply through the warden. Uh, not, 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 the not, not the, not the you permit. Get the guinea from from the here, park. from no, the park. Oh, yes, all right. Yes. That's interesting. All right, here we go. We proceed. I feel so bad. Ah, they're so beautiful. Are beautiful. We have yeah. two types of kudus here. Yeah, we have the lesser kudu and the greater kudu. Okay. Uh, and they are very beautiful. Uh, fact, uh, so it's kudu, it. now there's lesser kudu and then there's greater kudu. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I wish we'd look at it. Some calmness come into you when you're stressed and then you see that was a gray and a light yeah, yeah. line of white so beautiful yeah, to see just feel good. well i hope we get to see some anyway good. Sour, sour. Yeah. all right i think there's a very young a very young baby elephant here. Here. Yeah. It's just yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, in a juku nyuisha. Oh, ni, ni ladies first, oh, lakini ni men before. Shukrani. 
Ah, this is Mundanda. Munda? Mundanda. 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 Mundanda Road. Oh, this is the rock, yeah? Yes. Okay. 1.6 kilometers long. Uh -huh. uh, it's a nestle bag. This is the place yes. where you lost your legs. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> so I'm um, careful, eh? Uh, this was eh. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to lose. Uh, and you, uh, oh, all right. How do you deal with the extremes now? Like right now, you say it's, it's this drought. Yeah, so some food. of the lessons that we learned from the last drought in 2017 yeah. was that we need to have as many sources of water for wildlife. When the end, we have a drought, just the way we had it, mm. we have it right now. Uh, since 2017, we've been able to desilt so many water pans uh, in the park. Yeah. Like this one was completely desilted. Uh -huh. Desilted and we, it was full of water in fact. Uh, we've also increased the number of boreholes mm -hmm. in the park. Initially we had only three. Yeah. Right now we have almost ten. Wow. And which are distributed in the park. Mm -hmm. Some are in the southern sector, others are in the Eusa sectors and other are in the northern sector. Uh -huh. This is also a major project that is coming. We pump water to Yata. See over there, that wow. is Yata, the one that looks Yata like Plateau. Yata Plateau. Oh. That is a major attraction for Sabo East. Yes. So there's a uh, we pump water to Yata Plateau. And the water is gravity. Uh -huh. And that will be different if we have water for one. Yeah. We have such in the future. So we are working on that. to desilt such a water pan requires a lot of uh, uh, resources. You know, um, tourism is pretty much uh, the drivers of the uh, the driver of the, amongst the drivers of the economy. So, uh, do you think there is much that is being put towards making the best of this? Because I mean, if we have tourists that are coming from different parts of the world and they're paying so much just to see what we have, I would imagine that in the same in the same vigor, uh, we should put so much resources towards making. I know. Sure I know. That um, you know, conservation is very expensive. Yeah. And it is conservation tourism successful. Mm. And uh, yes, some, something is being done uh, in the, in the system. Something, some money is being put in projects that can bring, you know, the, the that can make the habitat even more good mm. for one life. So, uh, um, I, I, I'm sorry, I cut you short. Now, private sector. How does it come in? Because I'd want to imagine like the lodges that we have around, maybe a majority of them are, 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 are privately owned, uh, but they hugely depend on uh, the park itself. So at least they can get business, you know, they can get uh, people coming to, to these particular lodges like uh, the, the, the Voy Safari Lodge. How are they coming in and how are you partnering with them to make sure that at least this is a game of the past? Because, I mean, we want business for the rest of time. In fact, we cannot make it alone as a government. Yeah. Uh, like, for example, in Savo East, we are working with the uh, sectors. Mm -hmm. uh, we have so many partners, mm -hmm. uh, ranging from tourism development yeah. to park operation to security operations. We are working very closely with other uh, partners. Right. In fact, even where we are right now, mm -hmm. this is Mondadaro. If you look at this toilet that we are doing right here. Oh, this, has been, this has been done by a private partner. I have been moving so, around to ask so, where is one. Eh? Yes, I know we've had a very huge challenge when people come to visit such attractions. Yeah. They don't have a place where they can help themselves. Right. And uh, some guys came around, we discussed on what we can do. And now you can see. At least one understand. is coming up. Yeah. You better make them six. Yeah. Four hours drive is not a joke. It's like four, four. That's eight, right? I know. I know. So, so we, we even want to do the same to some other places like in Lugard. Yeah. When you are transiting from the northern sector of the park to the southern sector, it's a long distance. You need somewhere you can get in and help yourself. Mm -hmm. You also need to do something between Sala coming to Aruba. Yeah. So we are working on that and we are working very closely mm -hmm. uh, with private uh, partners. Mm. Uh, and and we, in, in fact, uh, 
apart from the hotels and the lodges, eh, right. uh, we usually do park patrols. Mm -hmm. uh, we use uh, aircraft, we use vehicles. We have so many uh, partners who help us in doing that. Mm. So, so we are working closely with them mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that the conservation agenda uh, is obtained. Wow, amazing. And so you're there seated at home thinking that I'm going to tell you more. It's a lie. I do not take it beyond this point. Why? Because I think it's only fair that you come and get to see this for yourself. Remember what he's saying. It's as cheap as 200 for a Kenyan child. It is indeed the theatre of the world, and you wait until you see the void safari which where are we sleeping? My goodness, we have no reason to stay here, Kenya. Joey, thank you so much. You're welcome. It is time that we enjoy the snacks that we can. Sure. All right, I get to see you again in the next session. It's a wrap. <laughs>